life in what's been a dormant offense in this second half. Here's first and ten. Out of the gun, Watson. It's a short one here, complete to his tight end. And they're going to get this down inside the 20. And he's the epitome of what we call the move tight end, a guy that you can line up anywhere, in the slot, out wide, in tight. Doesn't really matter because he has such great skills, you want to utilize him in all aspects of your passing offense. And there he was in the slot for the catch. And now they're going to get him down right at the line of scrimmage. The offense on third down tonight, they've hit on six of their eight tries. Very good. They're looking at third and a few inches. And he's going to have a first down here as he gets this one to the 17-yard line. That's quite a spot there for his first carry of the game, but obviously they had plenty of faith in him, didn't they? No question about it. And here, why not go with the fresh legs? Able to push forward, pick up that first. Right back to him on first down. And he's brought down just outside of the 10 at the 11. It's a six-yard gain on the ground, and that'll make it second and four. Operating from the gun, Watson. Quick hitter here, it's complete. And the Browns are going to have a first and goal as the tackle is made at about the five. Now a handoff up the middle. Winslow, five yards, a good run there, and now second and goal. As long as you've been the air attack, has gotten them down here, but now is where you start to lean on that running game. That's a good pick up there on first and goal. And they'll run again. And he takes this one in for a Brown score. A great effort there. His first touchdown of the new season. And the Browns answer back with a touchdown of their own to break our tie and take the lead here in the fourth. Point after, right down the middle. And they will take a seven-point lead. The Browns kicking team out there now as they'll send this one away. And here comes a return from a few steps into the end zone. And the decision to come out of the end zone is going to cost him five yards as he's taken down right at the 20. Here are the Vikings now to start their next drive. They now trail by seven after that last touchdown here in the fourth quarter. What a big spot for this offense. See if they can cobble something together on this drive. Here's a second and five now from the 25. Again to Henry. And he's able to get out to the 32, brought down there. Seven yards there and a first down. Well, partner, I know this type of running back. I mean, this size, this intensity, usually gets better as the game goes on. And I can just tell you from experience, the first few quarters, oh, you're eager. You come running up there. I'm going to tackle this guy. By the fourth quarter, you're coming up and thinking about it. And D-line wearing down fourth quarter. Yeah, that's not a guy they want to see consistently. As soon as I saw him break contain and get outside, my first thought and my eyes gravitated downfield because nowadays, most of these quarterbacks, when they do that, they want the big play downfield. They don't want to throw it short. In this case, he took the shot. It fell incomplete. Nine yards, not quite enough, and they'll be left now with third and one. Tell you what, he's been able to put the ball in some tight spots all game long. That throw, no different. Yeah, a lot of people would call it a gutsy type of a throw. I think he looks at it as, I can do it, so it's not that big of a deal to me. I'm going to keep firing. And he will have a Vikings first down as they're able to convert by plenty there on third and one. Another carry for their leader and a good one. It's crunch time. They'll need him to continue to be productive in both the run and passing game in order for them to try and snatch a victory. Well, I'm not sure he saw the linebacker there as that's batted down and incomplete. So now second and ten after the incompletion on first down. Operating from the gun, Dawson. And this one incomplete. Too much contact to hold on to that one, and it's third down. Here comes the eighth play of the drive, and they need a full 10 yards on third down. Back to throw. Dawson. This one brought in by Jefferson. 
And they're going to have another first down as he's going to be tackled at the Browns 33. A good pick up there of 20 yards. The drive continues as they search for a tying touchdown. Here's first and 10. Running from the gun with Henry. And he works his way free all the way down to the outskirts of the red zone. Another strong gain on the last two plays. They've moved it a combined 33 yards. From the red zone now, they'll look to throw. Flush to his right. Got a man on the right sideline. It's Hines. Touchdown! A great play there with his second touchdown of the game, fourth of the year. And the Vikings are an extra point away from tying this game here in the fourth. We are set up for a fantastic finish now. A fourth quarter touchdown here. We're an extra point away from a tie football game. And I know they're thinking about possibly going for two, but I'd go ahead and kick this one and just get it back to level. And ho, oh, he missed it. No good. And they'll remain down by a point. Minnesota's kick team ready, and the Vikings boom it away. And this will be a touchback, so they'll bring it out to the 25. Now Nick Chubb and the Browns get set for their next possession. I guess it kind of goes without saying at this point, but he's had a great game, as we like to say, a nose for the end zone, no doubt. Continues to find it throughout this game, and I'm sure he's got a nice place to live. He might want to make an offer on the end zone for a second home, <laughs> because that's what it's been like throughout this contest. He knows how to get there, and boy, he looks happy when he does. He's already bought all the property in the end zone. That's the problem. He's going to sell to himself now. On second down, Winslow. And he's going to have a Browns first down as he's got this up to the 40-yard line. Well, it is our business to analyze what we saw out there. And on that play, I saw a defense staying in base, not taking a chance, not blitzing in a situation where they absolutely need the football back. That's either a case of overthinking it or not thinking it through. If you do blitz, do you have to be careful about where you're coming from, or are you just coming from all angles? You have to be careful about where you're coming from, obviously, but at this stage, you have to take a few chances as well. An ideal spot here to get a first down and try to run some more clock, and this is second and less than a yard. They'll try and run the option left side. And he'll lose yardage here, back at the 47. That's a... Of three and it brings up third down. Coming up here looking for three yards to pick up the first. Watson on third down. And this is going to be caught, but they'll say out of bounds. So it's incomplete. The Browns send out their punter now as he'll punt it away for the second time. And he'll get off a fairly short kick here as this is toward the sideline. And no return possible here as they angle this one out of bounds. Minnesota's offense takes over possession. Their defense accomplished step one of the mission. They force the punt. Now they'll look to erase that deficit and take a fourth quarter lead. And they'll wind up getting this to the 37. Gain of nine. The last run got nine. That leaves him with second and a yard. Again, it's Henry. And he'll bring it up here to right at the 40-yard line. They'll get three as the drive continues. It's a first down. Henry up the middle. Oh, he's got a little daylight. And some nifty running here as he'll take this across midfield and down to the 47. 13 yards as the Vikings pick up the first down. It's been an excellent day for him running the football, no doubt, as he continues to soar well past 100 yards. Yeah, it almost feels like he can just grab his briefcase and head home after putting in a full day's work at the office, doesn't it? And that's going to be incomplete. Too tough to hold on to that one. It's second down. All right, help me out here a little bit, partner, because what I'm seeing is a passing game that's just struggled to complete anything. No rhythm, no timing. Seems like every pass is also contested well, so give some credit to the defense. And that is incomplete. A lot of force bearing down on him there. He could not hang on. It's third down. A field goal from this spot likely out of the question. They've got to get closer here on third down. 
A hit as he throws there incomplete. Well, that plays a statistic that's going to go on the defensive team stat sheet. Won't necessarily reflect in hours, right, the overall game sheet. But you and I know that they keep count on pressures, hits on quarterbacks, all those things, hoping to increase that throughout the game. And here we are in the fourth quarter, and they got a big one. Yeah, it's such a close game, a very big one. Now they go for it on fourth, but this one is going to wind up incomplete. The Vikings unable to convert here on fourth. And this Browns defense stands tall. So they've gone for it twice now on fourth down of this game, and both times unsuccessful. I wish we could hear the headsets now between the head coach and the offensive coordinator. Now that they're 0 for 2, if they get into a third situation, head coach might say, hey, you got anything for this one? <laughs> might get radio silence back. <laughs> And he'll be brought down on the other side of midfield at the 43. Still a few inches short of a first down as they come up now on second down. Again, Watson to keep it. And this time he's able to take it down to the 42. Only a yard there on the keeper, but that's all he needed. First down. Operating from the gun, Watson. And he's going to lose a yard or two, taken down behind the line. He couldn't get rid of it. He winds up losing a yard. It's second down. Clock continuing to run. They'll probably wind this all the way before snapping it on second down. Watson's throw complete to Shakir. And they're going to get this down to about the 37. Fired that one in there, able to make connection on a nice in route. With those faster passes and they're going that fast, any hesitation as a quarterback that the deflection, if you miss, might be bigger and lead to an interception? Yeah, and the deflection works both ways. Maybe a defender gets a hand in the way and it pops in the air. And sometimes you throw it so hard your receiver can't handle it, and he pops it up in the air for the defenders to grab as well. But a moot point there is they were able to connect. Fourth quarter, two minutes on the clock in a tight one-point game. Give him eight yards on the play, and they pick up the first. Up the middle they go. Winslow. So fresh out of the two-minute warning, and here's another timeout taken with 1.55 remaining. So second and nine, and you'd have to figure just about all 11 probably crashing the line here. They'll keep it on the ground. Winslow. Two runs in a row, but only two yards to show for it. Now the Vikings will use the second of their timeouts as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. This will be the eighth play of the drive. It's third and seven. Watson now to throw. Got his man complete over the middle. That's Lindsey. And this is going to turn into another first down as the tackle is made at the Vikings 14. Now a give right side. Winslow. And they get to him quickly here as he stopped right around the 13. The run only got a yard. Here's second and nine. Now a handoff up the middle. Winslow. And this time they were ready for him as they'll stop him right at the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play there, so that doesn't help. Now they're looking up. 